I'm Jeremy Wade, and for 30 years I've been investigating underwater mysteries, tracking down fresh and saltwater killers in some of the most remote corners of the world. But this is something very different. A bit of monster wrangling from the depths by extreme angler and biologist Jeremy Wade, star of Animal Planet's River Monsters, whose ninth and final season kicks off April 23rd. And Jeremy Wade is here to tell us more about the monsters we will encounter on the ninth season. Welcome, Jeremy. So great to have you here. Nice to be here. Ten years you've been doing this show. Is that about right? That's right, yeah. What a ride. What were you doing before you got involved with this show? I was doing a similar kind of thing, but not on camera. So I was, I was traveling solo. Uh, very low budget, writing about it occasionally. Sometimes people would publish that. Right. Um, but yeah, so I'm just doing the same thing, but much in, a much more intense schedule these days. And what was this ride like, 10 years of doing this show? Do you feel like you did everything you wanted to do on it? Pretty much. I mean, that's actually why it's coming to an end. It's because I did have this list 10 years ago of, of, of these are these, uh, you know, that there are certain outlandish freshwater fish around the world and it would be great to find those and, and put them on screen. Wasn't really expecting to, to tick them all off, but we've done that and then some. Amazing. And looking mm. back, can you point to one or two episodes that really stand out for you? Uh, there was one we did in the Congo, uh, which is just it's a very hard place to get to for a start. Um, so not many people really know what that's like. And the fish that I was after is a thing called a Goliath tigerfish, which is like a piranha scaled up to the size of a person. So it's got Amazing. it's got teeth an inch long. Amazing. Mm. You were in life challenging situations many times. Were you ever scared for your life? Um, a few times, there was, I, I was, before I was filming uh, River Monsters, I was, I was in the Amazon and I was in a plane that went down. So Ooh. that was, yeah, so, that's so that, that, was, that was fairly, <laughs> that, that was quite intense. So looking um, at, looking at ninth se the ninth season, are there any new technologies or never before seen depths? What, what is new about this ninth season? Well, we've got, uh, we, we're saving one of the best things till last, the, the biggest fish that I've caught on the entire run uh, by quite a long way, that is this season. Uh, the deepest I've fished, uh, the coldest place I've been. I do a lot of tropics, but we went to a very cold place. Do you prefer the tropics? I, th I don't know. I'm, I think I prefer, I like the cold because it's a bit of an antidote. And the thing sure. about they, they say there's no such thing as bad weather as bad clothing. Yeah, and, right. And that, there's, that's there's, very there's Norwegian of yes, you. <laughs> yeah. So have mm. you seen any changes? The 10 years you've been doing this show, have you seen environmental changes to the world's water areas? Um, a lot. I mean, it's also what people tell me when I go to different places, um, because it's not only important that I go to the right place, I need to be there at the right time, the right stage of the water. And on rivers, people are telling me that it's getting harder and harder to predict uh, when the water's going to be flooding and, and falling. And they say this is, this is just in the last 10 or 15 years or so. Fishermen really, really look closely at the water, and they're telling me this. That's alarming, mm, for sure. It is. Yeah. Are there any mysteries left in the depths? I think there are a few. There there, are well, a few. I'm sure there are a few. <laughs> um, but I think all the ones that we can realistically do for now, we've, we've sort of done. Right. And so what is next for you after this series? I have a feeling I'm going to be busy. There, there are still stories out there, not quite the same kinds of stories, but um, I'll have a little bit of a rest. I'm, right, I'm not bit. quite ready for retirement. Right. Yet. So mm. being a fisherman, though, it's in your blood. You'll continue. It is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's a sort of a, it's it, it, I mean, it's a physical thing. It's a mental thing as well. Fishing is a puzzle. And I think you do get a bit addicted to that. It's finding finding answers, looking beneath the surface in more ways than one. Sure. Well, we look forward to seeing the ninth and final season. And thank you so much, Jeremy Wade, for coming to see us today. Thank you, Tony. It's been a pleasure.